Hello and welcome to this week's AB Tutor Tips video. Today I'm going to talk about different ways that policies can be applied. The first way to apply policies is to sessions. This will last until the current user logs off and will not affect other users who are logged on to that computer. This is useful for terminal servers which may have multiple users logged on at the same time if you only want to affect one user. This type of application is the default for any policy set to automatically remove when the user logs off. Policies can also be applied to devices. This means that anyone who uses that computer will be affected by the policy and that the policy will stay on that computer until removed, either manually or because the policy application expires. This is the default method of applying policies and will be what you are used to if you've used older versions of ABTutor. If you have your users set up on your central server as client users, you can apply policies directly to users. This allows you to set a policy which will affect one or more specific users, no matter which computer they are using, and also prevent it from affecting any other users who are using that computer. To apply a policy in any of these ways, select the relevant tab from the top of the main view and drag the policy from the Policies panel onto the item you wish to apply it to. You can apply a policy to multiple items by selecting them first. Policies can also be applied to offline computers or users and will take effect the next time they connect to the server. To remove a policy, either right-click on its icon and select Remove Policy, or right-click on the icon under the thumbnail and select Remove Policy from Selection. You can also apply policies to groups. This is a powerful feature allowing policies to be applied to larger numbers of users or devices in one go, and to automatically update the policy applications if the groups are changed later. Note that you must have a console admin role in order to apply a policy to a shared group or have the private group creator role to apply policies to your private groups. To apply a policy to a group, right click on the group, select properties, default policies and use the add button. Once applied, group policies can only be removed by editing the group properties again. They cannot be removed from the list or thumbnail views. Applying a policy to a group allows the admin to quickly apply the policy to a large number of computers. You can also select multiple groups and add a policy to them all simultaneously. It also means that if a device is added to a group later, or if a student in a user or username group logs in, any relevant policies will automatically be applied to them. Policies will automatically be removed from any item which is removed from a group, so for example if a computer is moved from one classroom to another, the policies will be updated appropriately. Finally, there are a couple of built-in groups that admins can apply policies to. If you right-click on all items, you can apply default device policies. Any policies added here will always be applied to every computer with the AB client on it, allowing policies to easily be applied across the entire site without needing to apply them to every group individually. Default session policies are similar, however they will only be applied to computers when a user is logged in. You can always tell why a policy is affecting a device by looking at its icon. A smaller icon will be shown in the bottom right showing whether the policy is applied to the device, user, session, group or is a default policy. More detail is shown in the tooltip if you hover over the policy icon. Note that no mini icon is shown if the application type matches the current views tab. I hope that this video has given you some useful insight into how policies can be applied. As always, if you have any questions about this or any other ABTutor features, please email us at support at and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.